Hi, this is Pauline with Lesson 3, Competency or Behavioural Based Interviews. We spoke in a previous lesson about this type of interview. Here is a reminder about them, and then we will look at this technique in more detail. Whilst preparing the job description, the company has identified what skills are needed for the role, and the interviewer will ask questions to find out if the candidate has those skills. This is easy to prepare for, especially if you have the job description. Even if this type of interviewing is not used, this is very good preparation for any interview. Behavioural interview questions will be more focused than traditional interview questions, and the candidate needs to respond with related examples of how they handle those situations in the workplace. Most job adverts will list the qualities the company are looking for, a team worker, a good communicator, so prepare examples of how you can demonstrate these skills and be ready to talk about your knowledge, experience, abilities and skills. Review examples of the questions you may be asked during a behavioural job interview and think about how you would answer them. You need to have relevant and engaging stories for the interviewer that demonstrate that what you put down on paper can be backed up by actual anecdotes about your life. These should be completely at your fingertips, so you can pull them out of the bag as needed during the interview. Competency or behavioural based interviews are an incredibly powerful tool for the interviewer because it immediately gives them an insight into your past behaviour and therefore your likely future behaviour. So make sure you're ready for the scenario questions. Cover these points in your answer. A specific situation, the task that needed to be achieved, the action you took, and the outcome. Begin by having at least three strong points about yourself that you can relate to the company and job on offer, and anecdotes to back them up. Be aware that often competencies overlap. Some typical competencies and behavioural interview questions might be Competency, competency identified, goal orientated. The questions might be, tell me how you set goals and achieve them. Did you ever not meet your goals? Why? Give me an example of a goal you have reached and tell me how you achieved it. Give an example of a goal you didn't meet and how you handled it. Competency identified, communication skills. The interviewer may ask, do you listen? Give an example of when you did or when you didn't listen. If the competency identified as team skills, the interviewer may ask you to give an example of how you worked on a team. For a change management competency, the interviewer may ask, have you had to convince a team to work on a project they were unhappy about? How did you do it? This question and response could also be used to illustrate team skills. If the interviewer wants to talk about influencing skills, they may ask, have you handled a difficult situation with a client or vendor? How? If the competency identified was managing performance, they may ask, share an example of how you were able to motivate employees or co-workers. Have you handled a difficult situation with another department? How? During the interview, if you are not sure how to answer the question, ask for clarification. Let's have a look at an extract from a document that went out in an interview pack, advising interviewees what to prepare. Skills and qualifications. You will be required to provide evidence of the following competencies. In each case, Think about a response you could give. Focusing on the customer. I listen to and respect all customers and ask questions about their needs. I respond to customers' requests quickly and politely. I work with my team to help deal with customers' questions. The interviewer will be looking for you to illustrate the bullet points listed in your responses. Developing our people. I keep my area of expertise up to date. 
I behave in line with the professional code of conduct and the company equality and diversity policy. I am aware of my individual strengths and weaknesses and take responsibility for my continuous personal development. Using evidence to make decisions. I base my decisions on as much evidence as is realistically available. I use various sources of evidence to get information. I understand where to go and who to involve when making decisions to achieve my goals. Planning and managing resources. I prioritise tasks to achieve my goals. I manage my time through effective time planning. I consistently complete my tasks on time. I use resources appropriately and I am aware of how these affect the organisation's costs. Working as a team. I value diversity and support different ways of working. I give individuals helpful feedback and treat people with courtesy and respect at all times. I take responsibility for my own actions and deliver my commitments to the team. It's important to remember there is no right or wrong answer. The interviewer is trying to understand how you behaved in a given situation. Your responses will determine if there is a fit between your skills and the position the company is seeking to fill. So listen carefully, be clear and detailed when you respond, and be honest. If your answers aren't what the interviewer is looking for, this position may not be the best job for you anyway. In lesson four, we'll look at research and how to research the job and the organisation that you are interviewing with.